<laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, hello again, most esteemed viewers. Um, my name is Jekyll Stan Gray, and holy crap, it's been a long time since I since I played this. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> um, I've just, you know, yeah, I felt like playing a CRPG today, and um, I tried to lower the frame rate on the Pillars of Eternity, and didn't quite work. Um, I just need to get a better computer, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, we're gonna continue- Oh, I guess we'll play one of my all-time favorite games. We're gonna continue to play through it. did a while ago. Uh, okay. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, so last time I had trouble finding, um, I had trouble activating the portal. I had a much weirder, I had to find a much weirder solution. So, yeah, um, dang, it's been so long, a couple months. Um, yeah. Lots of, get ready for lots of dialogue trees. There's gonna be, I'm probably gonna be repeating myself a lot, um, so I'm just gonna, I guess, say it right now to the, um, uh, the, this, this game has some, a bunch, is really good and the writing's amazing. But it's got a bunch of weird, um, uh, it's got, all these, all these prostitutes are much, much, I mean, they were always kind of weird, but they're much weirder now that, um, now that we know, now that we know what we know about Chris Avalon. Oh, although I should, I should double check to make sure. I, I do believe the accusation, but I should maybe look into it a bit more. Anyway, um, the, um, uh, Anyway, but the what, what I was gonna say was that um, a lot of weird legacy decisions, you know, that got fixed in Torment Heights Numenera and Disco Elysium. Um, what? Who's Craddock? Um, uh, Bane the Sender, Child of. The, it kind of reminds me of like Aragorn, son of Arathorn, and all that. Um, um, House of Senders. Uh, I haven't found him yet. Um, uh, I do, I, I, one of the weird legacy decisions that I lament is the, uh, I love how I'm looking away from him. Um, one of the weird legacy decisions that I kind of lament is the binary good and evil, you know, D&D &D setting, which is much more fitting for something like Baldur's Gate, which I probably should also continue. Um, uh, the whole world froze just for our conversation. Um, so, uh, um, so yeah, uh, Baldur's, um, sorry, um, but with this game is kind of weird, it doesn't fit, basically. Tor again, Torment Tides of Numenera and Disco Elysium, which are probably the two games that draw the most from this one, um, definitely move away from that, because they weren't being, I mean, I'm not sure how much, I don't think a lot of it, a lot of it is the people who made this game's fault, because this game was made in the Infinity Engine, and they had to fit within a a D and D rule set. At least that's what I thought. Um, but I see Craddock, an overseer in the hive. Uh, um, sorry, I haven't. Um, um, uh, all right. So we'll pay me regardless of whether or not I demand payment. Um, uh, shipment must be incursed by the third day or there will be a penalty. I'm told that Craddock will know of the shipment to which the message pertains. Um, uh, interesting. This game kind of reminds me, so I recently played, while one of my 4K remasters was rendering, I played, I started a game called Unrest, um... Which, kind, this game kind of reminds me of that. Um, uh, let's see here. So here we have the hive. And, um, uh, let's see, journal. Um, uh, so find the missing journal. Find Craddock and find Farod. Okay, so here we got Quentin. Um... Uh, Tombstone for the Plains. 
Graveyards of names are scratched on that rock. Can only hope my name's on the one that'll split the stone in twain. Interesting. Tombstone for the plains. So the dustmen are the people who believe that everyone, they're kind of like a Valar Morghulis type, you know, all people must die, all men must die, but they, um, but they want, but they were like, everyone must have true death, so not undeath. Um, uh, interesting. What are you doing here? All have died on the monument. Interesting. Oh, so he's... Is he just, like, standing there waiting to die for the, um... Uh, um, no one mourns the living. Um, uh, so is he just, like, standing there waiting to die? Um... Let's see. There's so many, like, weird and interesting philosophical characters. It kind of reminds me of the character in Nier Automata, who is basically... They feel more like avatars who explore philosophy than characters in their own right, as weird as that may sound. You know, there's a character in Nier Automata who's basically just, like, the ship of Theseus. Like, he's just... I think it's he. Um, they, I'll just say they. Um, they're just, like, the... The... Like, they have this one leg that they refuse to replace because it's the one part of their original body and they're worried that they'll be a different person, you know, so... So this guy is apparently just like, yeah, I'm gonna stay here until I die. I want to make sure I die here. Um, let's see. I think that Liz dies. Um, uh, oh, yeah, I already did this. There's a lot of, feel, it feels like the, um, there's a lot, like, redundancies in the dialogue trees. Um, I actually had this one, this one course I took where I played a lot of Disco Elysium, a tutorial. Um, if I had this channel, I probably would have, would have recorded it for, like, some kind of homework communism thing. Um, but the, um, uh, um, uh, one thing I did was I actually went and like reverse engineered a dialogue tree, and holy crap, it was intensive work. It was—I mean, it wasn't like I shouldn't say, but it was like actually mapping it out made it maybe appreciate the design of the game much more. Um, let's see. Okay, so these are all basically lead to the same thing. Um, uh, Uh, Sevtai. What's the matter? Chaos Men. This actually kind of reminds me, now that I think about it, of the Vietnam War Memorial. Just in terms of, like, a bunch of names written of people who died. Um... Uh, Interesting. I mean, uh, I don't know. And I is an eye for an eye really a good thing? Um. Uh, anyway, utilitarianism. Uh, you know, I'm I'm missing out on the quest, I guess, but um, considering how easy I get, how much I get sidetracked by side content when I probably shouldn't for Let's Plays, that's probably a good thing. <laughs> uh, I have ADD in case any if I don't, I doubt anyone is surprised by that. Oh boy. Okay. I recently watched. Um, not I guess not recently. A little bit ago, I watched. Um, uh, oh, I need to find Mebeth. Um, uh, I recently found, I recently watched, um, I, I, <laughs> not nat, you can't look natural, but you can look casual. Um, uh, the, uh, chasing after him. 
Um, sorry. So, oh yeah, they talked about how they didn't like real time with pause, and they didn't, you know. And I feel like, in a quote unquote objective, they talked about, you know, they compared. It was Pathfinder Kingmaker. They were playing Pathfinder Kingmaker, and they compared the combat system favorably to, uh, or unfavorably to that of um, Divinity. And uh, <laughs> this conversation during an action back. Anyway, um, and the um, the uh, um. Uh, and I agree with them that, like, again, like, on an object... Oh, Anna! Um... Right. The... Uh, sorry. Okay, so the... Uh, um... Uh, so they compared it favorably to... Uh, um... The, the thing that... Sorry. Um... I'll talk to her in a sec. Um, but that's probably gonna be. Um, okay, so they talked about uh, uh, Divinity's turn-based combat and favorable, favorable to Pathfinder Kingmaker and Pillar Pillars of Divinity's like real time with paws. And I think that you know, as a combat system, Divinity's works better. But I don't play these games for the combat system. Hey. Um, so I, I personally prefer real time with pause because it's it's a break, but I also don't feel like oh like sometimes with on games like this I'm like I just want to get back to the exploring and role playing and stuff like that because that's what I play these games for. Anyway, um, um she's a tiefling, uh, I think, which is interesting. That's another thing I guess I was gonna talk about that they brought up. Asimirs and tieflings are always like like angel. Asimirs for those of you who don't know, Asimirs I think are like half angels like nephilim kind of look up the book of enoch it's really interesting i'll put a link to the wikipedia page on the book of enoch in the description um also a link to spoiler warnings video on um the thing on um uh, pathfinder kingmaker um anyway so th the so asimirs and, and tieflings are I'm, I'm gonna need to pick up the face i'm sorry but this is something i've thinking about asters and tieflings you know angel spawn and, and devil spawn are, are often a a you know the the uh the, the adam to the general roster of half elves you know elves dwarves um gnomes you know that those types of things and pillars of eternity kind of does that i actually am much i actually like pillars of eternity more than they said i think i'll talk about that if if such when i do a pillars of eternity series um but what's interesting is that Pillars of Eternity's races more are like pagan gods. It's not like a heaven, a Christian idea of heaven and hell. They're more like you know you've got moon, you've got uh, moon god likes, fire god likes, nature god likes, and death god likes, which are much, which don't have the same connotation attached to them. Maybe death god likes, but even then it's more just a natural. Uh, death is natural. Like everyone must die anyway. Um. um um, uh, Pike off. So I think a lot of the slang in this game is actually based on. I, th I saw this on I think the IMDb page. Um, can't remember why I was looking on the IMDb page for this game, but um, they. Uh, I think this was. Um, I think this was. Um, there was like this. This language was like the the slang was based off of like real london lower class like working class grammar um uh, which is interesting um uh, and i'm gonna just make sure this is recording right i know it is logically speaking but yeah um okay sorry um and how did what how did it affect okay um anyway sorry um uh, it's nice to be able to read the previous. Anyway, um, so it's based on 17th century um, stuff. 17th century um, English English uh, slang and stuff. So I wonder if Pike is... I mean, obviously, we know what Pike is probably supposed to be. But I wonder if that's just they made it up so they didn't have to say... They didn't have to say piss off. Um, or if they... Or if that's actually... Interesting. Anyway, I should probably stop overanalyzing every sentence in this game. Otherwise, I'm gonna. It's gonna be like that that Peanuts series where Snoopy is 
reading War and Peace one word a day. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway. Um, uh... More, she means money. Oh. Even I knew that, and I didn't have any, like, social cues to work off of, then again. Um, I'm bad at reading social cues, so maybe the lack of facial features is, um, facial expressions and stuff to, non-verbal, maybe the lack of non-verbal communication is a good thing for me. Um, 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 uh, um, uh, The alley. I know where he is. Why am I doing this? Oh well. I I don't think I ever did this. Um, kind of mild spoilers. She's actually a companion. Like she's actually uh, a playable companion. Although she's one of the. She's like the least interesting one. So that's a shame. Um. um let's see. South and west of the mortuary. Jeez. What did I ever do to you? Gathering dust bar. Chief. Um, I'm gonna talk to him more. Hey, what's eating you, Chief? Um, uh, let's see. I've heard people compare the, compare the Citadel to Mass Effect. Okay, I read on the Mass Effect wiki a comparison of the Citadel and Mass Effect to Sigil, which I actually can see. Interesting. I'll put a link to that. In the description below. Links, links, links all around. Uh, um, cities of Doors. So you actually, like, this is how you get experience in this game. This is mu much more um, important than grinding. Which is something that I actually remember, like, not really doing in my first playthrough. Like, I was, I didn't really understand that you could just, like, talk to your companions. That was what you should be doing. Um, um, so keys could be anywhere, so, um, I think that'll come into play later. Um, uh, let's see. How'd you die? Um, uh, oh man, he, he, so that's a sensitive subject, which I think we'll get into later. Um, uh, go on. Okay, um, uh, give some advice. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, sorry. Where? Other questions? Um, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be hearing that a lot. I think you'd be used to it. Um, uh, center yourself. Find the journal, Farad. Uh, uh, don't lose the journal. Um, the interesting thing of having to have more read it is um, what if you leave something out? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, 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 uh, so, yeah, he can say insults so vile they immediately try and attack him. Updated my journal. Okay. So does that give him the ability? Um, um, I kind of wish there was one like, I don't want to talk. Or, you know, like, it, it feels weird to say nothing more after I had this long conversation. Not a big deal, though. Um, uh, late 90s. Well, I mean, depending on his fantasy race, he might be, that might be like a baby for him. <laughs> Um, 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 probably. Rule of thumb, the Nameless One has met, like, everyone in the planes throughout. This is an interesting thing that, again, this is one reason I, I constantly compare this to Disco Elysium and, um, 
and uh, um, Torment Heads Numenera, um, which I need to play more of Torment Heads. I think it's pretty good. Um, anyway, that's a different, another topic. Um, but they're both like, they're, all these games have this very specific thing in common where you play as these amnesiac protagonists. So you can, you can role play as blank slates, but, but you also cl- clearly have a past. And people have been, um, people have been interacting with, with, um, you. People that remember you, basically. Um, uh, well, I mean, Dianara, obviously. Yeah, we'll get into that later, too. Um, wait a minute. I keep thinking I hear, um, like my, someone in my family calling me, but then I don't, I, I listen, I think on my headphones and nothing, so I don't know. Um, uh, facing, I think it's actually background noise from the game. Um, uh, contract, um, uh, um, uh, Corpse workers of the world unite! You have nothing to lose but your chains. Um, uh, so I think if I sign this, it means they'll take me back to the mortuary when I, if such, when I die. Which I don't think I did in my last playthrough, but it kind of sounds interesting, and I kind of could use some money. So, um. Uh, Um, uh, so they're kind of, um, uh, uh, it's kind of, the true death kind of reminds me of the idea of Nirvana, of like, nothing... I don't, and I'm just, okay, just for the record, I'm working off of a very basic and loose definition of what, I don't know a lot about this, but I think part of the idea is a, is a, as a piece and a nothingness, you know, um, let's see, uh, um, uh, should learn some of their names, I guess. Um, so you mentioned before. Um, uh, oh, I think I already asked that. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, let's see. I mentioned before. Farad. Um... Let's see. Farewell. So he he probably met me. I I was being truthful when I said I didn't remember him. Um. Uh, so this is the guy who might know where Farad is. Um. Uh, it's your bar. Um. Uh, I'm definitely not joining the dustmen. Um, uh, interesting. Five circle. Okay, initiates. Okay, so kind of reminds me of the circles of hell. Although I'm not sure if that was intentional or not. Um, let's see. Tell me about the Dustman faction. Don't want to join the Dustman faction. Uh, um, uh, these eyes have seen no journal. That's a very specific way of saying it. Um, oh man, now I'm just thinking about the collectors for Mass Effect 2. Um, yeah. Um, uh, 
let's see. Uh, um, uh, interesting. Uh, So he's hiding, he's bringing him a lot of corpses, and yet he's also hiding. Yeah, seems pretty suspicious. Um, heard the mortuary keeps misplacing bodies. Is that the nameless one? Does the nameless one just keep waking up in the mortuary and, um, and whatnot? Um, uh, in search of journal. Um... Uh, Farewell. How did that not... I would have... Oh, here we go. Okay, so it is part of my journal. Um... Uh, got the embalming fluid. Uh, let's see... This game is so interesting. Normally, I don't like these types of weird games. But in this case, it feels very... Um, uh, in this case, it if it doesn't feel just bizarre and surreal, it feels more like, hey, here's a um, here's a um, uh, sorry, here's a um, uh, a ah, uh, think, think, Jekyll's I think, um. Uh, Uh, it's for it's for a point. There's there's ideas at play here rather than just hey, everything surreal. Um, uh, um, um, who is Ham Race? Interesting. Oh. I know, like, I'm asking how he died. Um, uh, um, uh, <laughs> So they're the one, they're the, they're the troublesome soul in the cult. <laughs> um, uh, uh, interesting. Um, just some robes, don't fuck me. Um, uh. Um, uh I don't know which one of these. Um, uh, I don't know. They sound like she sounds like a she sounds like the type of person who uh, who would who would love um, who who would who would just want to be told I, you look old to me, not uh, not be bullcrapped. Um, Interesting. Uh... Oh, it's not boring me. Um, uh... yeah, I don't think I think that. Life certainly has suffering, and you need to find ways to deal with it and, and, and hopefully alleviate it for yourself and for other people. But life is suffering always feels feels like a very simplistic rhetoric 
an argument. Um, um, oh man, I know, I know that feeling. Um, let's see. Um, uh, so, test of faith, um, uh, let's see, uh, doubt your doubts before, before you, before you doubt your faith, everyone, and then every ex-Mormon in my audience, if there are any, cringed. <laughs> Um, uh, I love the idea of just being like, okay, this, this, this option just drinks up. Okay, bye. I have to go somewhere. Um, uh, guess this would be better. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, Um, uh... Yeah, exactly. This kind of crazy universe, of course, I, like someone just re getting reincarnated is one of the least crazy things. Um... Yeah. Any other questions? Um... Uh... Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, father, um, uh, let's see, uh, no idea, um, need to wonder that myself, yeah, um, uh, rag pickers square, Okay, so pretty much everyone hates Farad here, or is at least like worried about him, uh, which is understandable. I don't, I, if I remember right, he's not a good person. But it's been a while since I played this, so yeah. Um. Uh, uh let's see. Um, yeah. Passions keep you alive, and that's the problem. Um, let's see. Oh, is Emmerich the guy in the mortuary? Um,. Uh, no, I no, I don't think so. Um, uh, doll, yeah. Um, uh, doll is who I was thinking of. Do doll or doll, I don't know. Um, uh, um uh, explain. I don't like how ordery that sounds. Um, uh, torn apart my rats. Ugh. That's a tough way to go. Man, those rats aren't screwing around. Um, Let's see. Interesting how I didn't have the mortuary options with the other guy. Um, uh, let's see. This whole game is just talking to people. Um, uh, 
Oh yeah, the mausoleum. Yeah, okay. Um uh, Hey, what's in here? Nothing. 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 Probably should have thought that. Um so he's basically like a contract, a death contract salesman. And he's trying to meet his quota. Um, uh, let's see. The hive. I'm gone. Oh man, you hear so. You hear those. Those so many. So many. You're gonna hear. I'm gone. Update in my journal. Uh. Bye. Um, uh, um, uh, mm, let's run. Bye. I love how it literally gave us a fight or flight option. Oh boy, now they're all trying to kill me. Well, screw you. Goodbye. Uh, another bronze ring. Yay. Oh, I want to. I, I do really want to find Mehmet. stronger. Hey, level up. Nice. Um, uh, might as well. Uh, yeah. Okay, we're gonna increase our. Interesting how like level leveling up, you know, because in I think in classic D and D, they don't um. Uh, they they don't um. Oh, I can't decrease those. Interesting. Um. Uh, this is reform party. I can't remember. Um. I love how these guys are dead and everyone else is like, eh. Whatever. Um, so, uh, I think in classic D&D, it's like, they don't, they only let you increase them every, like, it's rare that you can increase one of your base stats. Um, uh, this is one of those cases, I guess. And we got a centaur. So I don't think there are actually any humans in this universe. There are, like, humanoids. But I don't think, although, I don't know. Um... So let's see. Uh, let's go in here, I guess. Oh boy. I'm gone. Um. Uh, so here's a important character. Um. Spoiler alert: He's another. Um. Uh, he is another. Um. Uh, Um, uh, alright, so, he's, um, uh, oh, Dekon, yeah, one of my favorites, um, so he is one of the, um, uh, he is one of, he's one of the companions, and this, is this one of the first games, so Baldur's Gate is interesting, because it's got tons of companions that have very little depth. Um, uh, and what I find interesting is that, um, is that, uh, I'm, I'm curious about, I think this is one of the first RPGs that kind of established the more modern norm of, you have a, a couple of companions that, especially in this case, have a lot, you can have a lot of depth, um, which I prefer. I think there's some appeal to the, to the Baldur's Gate method, but I personally prefer the prose of the of this of this thing and the cons of yeah anyway um, um let's see smoldering corpse who are you um uh, um uh, um uh, let's see Um, uh, 
needed my journal. The despair. One of the greatest wizards ever to come out of this slummy excuse for a cesspool. They caught him and they opened a channel to the plane of fire through him. And now there's just a doorway for it. Oh boy. Um. Uh, they might though. Um. That's depressing, especially when you consider why Ignis is the way he is. Um, but we'll get to that eventually. Uh, I'm looking for a journal. I already asked him that. I already asked her that. Um, uh, oh yeah, I already, I already did that. Collect. Oh, he's the king of the collectors. Um. Uh, all right. Um. Wow, there's a lot of named characters here. Pretty much any named character is has something interesting to say. Just O. Oh. Um. That kind of in some ways that kind of reminds me of Aaron. Just. Saying just O oh, kind of reminds me of Aaron Singles' video on um, Rage 2. Um, let's see. Uh, greetings. Um, Hail, right. Traveler. Um, uh, so he's like. So his weapon. His weapon is like a kind of a weird type of metal. Um, Your eyes are the weight of one who has traveled far to be in this place. You could say that. He's known. Odd yet familiar at the same time. Foreshadowing, ladies and gentlemen. Um, uh, you are not known to me. I do not know myself. Um... Uh, It'd be little of the plants left worth knowing. Um, uh, gives her a gives her thigh. Um, uh, we are the people who make our home upon the shifting plane of limbo. Um, uh, ew, wow. Um, uh, bring back Planescape, got D and D, please. I wanna, I wanna bring back. I want Planescape. Um, uh, um. Uh, Interesting. Uh, Zerthamon. Zerthamon, Zerthamon, Zerthamon. I can't you never shut up about Zerthamon. Um, uh, uh, let's see. How many got about the Gizzard thing? Uh, I don't know the city. Uh, I do like how the uh, how there's an again option because it makes it feel more natural and it lets you know what so as a practical purpose and an aesthetic purpose you know makes it feel more real and natural and also and less gamey but it also lets you know what you have already asked about and what you haven't. Um, let's see. Um. Uh... City exists in opposition to itself, and it set itself apart from the plains, yet it seeks to be everywhere at once. Its walls are doors, yet it keeps these doors locked. Such an existence tells of a thing that does not know itself, not knowing itself it is flawed. Um, um, um uh,
Um, uh, the thing does not need to be ordered. Okay, so this is kind of a Socratic. I think Socrates was the one who was like questions, question debates or whatever. I don't know. I I was it Socrates. I don't know. That that's who I think of when I think of the idea of debating by inquiring further. Um. Um. um uh, Um, uh... Yay! Philosophical experience. The best kind. Like, this is why I love it, because I would much rather play a game where you can explore these questions with another character than one where you just beat up monsters. You know, nothing wrong with games where you beat up monsters, but there's plenty of those, and there's not as many games, where, again, where you, like, can talk about philosophy, you know, and metaphysics and stuff. Um, um, uh, let's see. Uh, Your path is mine. So, All yeah. Skills All right. So, you actually you want to... Words. Hold on. Um, What's up? Level up. There we go. Accept. Uh, okay, so he's chaotic good. That that's about right. Um, uh, lawful neutral. But wait, he, I I don't know. He's I guess he is, but he's from the chaos plane anyway. Honestly, my alignment would probably be like neutral good or chaotic good um, in real life. But I always play just true neutral. Um, uh, because, I think I mentioned, again, I'm probably going to repeat some stuff I said in the last video just because it's been so long. Um, and uh, the, um, um, but the, um, sorry, um, the, um, uh, I don't believe in true balance. I, um, <laughs> they make him sound like the quote unquote enlightened sensuous type that I really don't I really dislike, but um, I just play true neutral just because I, I it lets me do things like use necromancy magic um, because I think it's what you use it for not the thing itself that's bad anyway. Um, uh, and who? Um, right. Oh yeah. Um, uh, in all things. Um, sorry, I just want to check stat screens. So he he's a sword mage basically. He's a double multi-class. And I do remember being annoyed that I couldn't multi-class, but he could. I'm not as annoyed about it now, but um, um Aethelgrin. Aethel like Aethelred. It kind of reminds me of um that's a Anglo-Saxon king I want to say. Um let's see. Uh, old friend, um, uh, um, so these are another people I knew, um, uh, let's see, many hundreds of years, dang, um, uh, so are they fighting in the blood war? Um, uh, um, uh, Wait, the celestials are in the blood war too? I thought the blood war was between the demons and the devils. Between chaotic evil and lawful evil. So what are the are the celestials part of that? I don't know. Um, I'm not. I'm I'm a nerd, but I'm, I guess I'm not that nerdy. Um, uh, let's see. Um, uh, let's see.
The return of an old friend. Um. Uh, interesting. Uh, um. Uh, Um, I kind of wish that the options had changed like they did with... I, I kind of wish there was more, like, I wish they all changed, added again or remind me or anything like that. Um, but, yeah, whatever. That would probably be a ton of work considering how much, how many dialogue options this game has. Um, and if they had to cut corners somewhere, that would be where I would cut them. Um, let's see... I no, I don't care that he's playing Fallout New Vegas. Um, let's see, what is this place? Talking about fiends. Sorry. Uh. uh um. Uh. Sorry. Um. Ah, uh, for some reason my brain just spaced out for a second. Um, uh, what is this place? Talking about fiends. Um, uh, so there, so these guys are lawful. Um, uh, um, so these guys are lawful. These are the lawful evil ones. Um, uh, Um, I have some thoughts, but I feel like, I do feel like anarchy, anarchy demons would be a bad thing, you know? Um, let's see... Diviner of Rubbish. I mean, he does live in the Trash Kingdom. Um, uh, um, so, but, yeah, I mean, there is a... Um, uh, oh, they deserted. Interesting. Uh, Um, uh, all right, O. Oh. Uh, closer examination. Uh, oh, wow. So, undead? Uh, because empty eye sockets, and, um, oh, there's no, there's light in the eye sockets. Ugh. There's something intriguing, but also, like, terrifying about that. Um,. Saga, it's your empty feeling of this void. Uh, yeah, you know, it's just another Thursday. Um, uh, the feeling of eternity every time you open their mouth. Ugh, that's weird. Um, uh, I've done you before and always you forget. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry. Um, uh. Curl up and die. Kind of is more like the immortal jellyfish that I've talked about before. Um, uh, I'll put a link to that Wikipedia article in the description, too. Um. Didn't know there's to feed them for a time. Uh, yeah, I think he's speaking the truth. Um, uh, attack him. Just, you, um, uh, who are you? Um, oh wow. So it's everything and nothing. It's like the unknown soldier of language, you know? Like the, they, we have no idea who they are so they can represent everyone. Um, uh, Um, uh, a divine alphabet. Wow. 
Um, uh, brothers slash sisters. Interesting. Um, uh, I mean, yeah, just talking about this, talking to this guy is making my brain hurt, but like in a good way. So, um, not my brain masochist, apparently. Um, uh, let's see. Let's understand we'd be on the veil of mortal comprehension. Uh,. What are you doing here? Hey, we hate wasps. That's insulting. Seek so to sting the wind to death. Um, this guy it sounds like he's been reading some Camus, a bear Camus. Um, uh, and from your experience, you bring harm to any of the misfortune to blunder in your you in your time of pain and distress. Not se it's not sentient, it's sapient. Thanks for the warning uh, for teaching me that. Sapience is what most people mean when they say sentient. Sentient is just like being aware of your surroundings, so wasps would be sentient, um, but not sapient. Sapient is like the higher consciousness stuff, you know. Um, uh... Interesting. Uh, take you far beyond your... Yeah, it will. It will. This guy's like, I have read the wiki. I have played this game before. I, what if I, Jekyll Sun Gray, am O? I wish it was that cool. Um... um I've. Uh, I like how he doesn't. He doesn't say yes or he doesn't say no. He's just like ask the question, and I'll I'll answer if I think I should. Um. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm mortal. Um. Uh, Ouch. Um, uh, let's see. Have you heard of Farad? Tell me about yourself. Uh, dang it, I already asked all this. Um, uh, no parts of many of them. Interesting. You don't know the secrets of existence? Oh. Interesting. Uh, this is bright. And then light and light. Oh, hey. Well, that's cool. Enlightenment fired a warning shot. <laughs> uh, Elias. Um. Nope. Yeah, what dimension are you from, Elburn? Uh, um, uh, true cities, interesting. Hold well, on, my land is just called the prime of the innocence of this city. The well, prime of what? I don't know. What you get here? I was chasing my old foe, the villainous life shade, Tier Tanelel. Um. Uh, this guy's got a bit of a hero complex, delusions of grandeur, whatever you want to call it. Um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, scarred one. He's got so many names, but no names at the same time. He's the nameless soldier, I guess. Or the unknown. I don't know. Uh. Um, um, what 
What's the true word? I don't know what the, um, what the coolest even means. Um, uh, um, uh, again, I kind of wish there was a more, it wasn't just like, attack you, kill you for the insult, or no, you know, I don't know. Um, again, that's the problem with fitting, um, a binary, I know it's not technically binary, but it's pretty binary, morality system, rigid morality system in a game like this. Um, let's see. So I remember where Farod is, but I can't remember where the journal is. I think the journal you find much later. All right, is that everyone? No, because um, because uh, we've still got um, uh, Ilquix and Barkus and oh wow, lots of people here. All right, Eb Creeknees. That's a mean name. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I got a lot of scars. Green Thresher. Now I'm thinking about Thresher Maws. My mind is on Mass Effect. Um. Uh, all right. Um, it comes in bites. I'm getting one. Uh, um. Uh, pushing a quill wasn't quite in my alley. Been biding my time, keeping tabs on things. Uh, Okay, um, uh, so, Blood War, um, uh, War of Lies, Black Centuries War, Three Plains War, Harmonium War Liberation, oh wow. <laughs> Oh, I know why he's afraid of the blood war. We'll get into that one later, though. Um, let's see. Uh, um, uh, Tanari. Uh, um, uh, so yeah, law, chaotic evil versus lawful evil. Um, uh, Let's see. Uh, uh, he's a spider. I don't like spiders. Um, uh, let's see. So I need to find a key, I think, to, um, uh, let's see, um, uh, someone named Farad, uh, missing a journal, um, uh, so he thinks Farad might have it, uh, and some other questions. Uh, who are you? Uh, um. Uh, oh yeah, so they they give directions. Um. Uh, what irons? Had some other questions. Uh, missing a journal. What is this place? This is interesting asking different people what the place is and hearing their responses. Um, uh, oh, mercy killers. Um, waiting around for a criminal. There's a couple right outside. I'm gonna have to kill them when I go out. <laughs> um. Gets the, gets the rise now in my team. 
let's see. So clueless people, I guess, are people who accidentally wandered in to Sigil. Um, uh, Ignis. Ignis wishes to burn. It'll, it'll make, if you've played the game, if you've gotten to Ignis and you've played the game, you know what I'm talking about. If not, you'll soon see. Um, um, let's see. Uh, smattering of problems. Um, uh, like to burn things. I'm use an arsonist. Um, now I'm thinking of the best philosophy tube villain, the arsonist. Um, Let's see, uh, now to admit, man, I am a referential thinker, holy crap. <laughs> um, let's see, so Lady of Pain, oh wow, so the Lady of Pain, and if you catch the notice of the Lady of Pain, you're screwed. Um, uh, let's see, uh, Interesting. Um, lady. Um, uh, um, um, so she'll make dimensional pockets, which we will be going to later. Um, uh, walking down an alley, I read a step through a portal. Um, uh, there's always a way out of this, out of each one. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, okay, so they're builders. Um, uh, sigils time. Uh, oh, now, now I'm thinking about the Banner Saga, although I guess there's still brightness and darkness. Anti peak. Interesting. Um, uh, um, uh, infinitely tall spire. Discarded wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, like a wagon. Yeah, okay. Um, there's no spokes that connect to the spire. Six wards, okay. Um, so the hive is like, the hive is very, um, uh, um, uh, so harmoniums are kind of enlightened sensuists. Um, we're gonna join the sensates in case anyone's wondering. Um, they're my favorite, and they also, I think, have the most story relevant stuff, although I might be wrong. Um, keys and portals, so yeah. Um, anything for a little tune. Um, uh, turned out I was right, so he like lied, but it turned out he was, he was, in, he was intending to lie, but he was actually telling the truth, and then Went to Arcadia. Um, interesting. Uh, um, uh, oh, the tattoo salon is, is pretty cool. Um, uh, yeah. The... Um, uh, I've already been to the alley, and trust me, I know. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, um, uh, Doesn't like it. I okay. Sometimes, at some point, I sometimes I just look at this wall of text and I'm like, eh. Let's see. I know some strange. She doesn't like them. 
Chaotic side of the Great Wing. Um, uh, I like the the difference between truths and lies. Um, uh, um. Uh, Wait, to each his own? But I agreed with him, didn't I? Um, uh, let's see. Uh, can you tell me about the patrons? Burning Man. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Magical Arsonist. I'm actually curious if they intended me to talk to everyone. Um... Uh, um, um, 15 years ago, uh, uh, um, uh, so he took my eye, and so I need to get 500 coins to give this guy my eye? I guess, I guess... 500 coins is the cost for my blind eye. We figured it out! No one needs to see the new Batman movie. Um. <laughs> but anyway, um. Uh, um. Uh, who's the owner? Smoldering Corpse. Yeah, who is it? Alright. Um. I think this is, yeah, I think I might have already asked it. Anyway, um, um, uh, Kendrian, uh, Creekness, yeah, okay, um, uh, um, uh, Let's see. Uh, uh Farad. Uh, yeah, I should stop. Uh, I mean, I'm just. I'm not actually reading. I'm just curious as to what kind of responses I'd get. Who's the person who's trying to work up the nerve to leave? I'm supposed to stop from leaving without paying. Oh. Um, 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 uh, um, uh, okay. Um, uh, let's see, uh, um, uh, um, the other patrons, uh, poison her drink? Why? Why would I do that? Um, 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 should I do this? Um, uh, um, uh, why would I poison her drink? Um, uh, I remember her being important, but I can't remember why. Um, uh, who are you? Alright. Alright, I think that's enough time here for now. Um, I'll be back, Ignis.
All right, heading out. Oh boy. Well, good thing I got another ally. And oh, this is kind of a refreshing change of pace from all the talking and reading. Um, I don't, you know, again, I don't, um, uh, ooh, critical miss. Um, I don't like, I don't, um, uh, you know, like it enough to, um, uh, to want more of it. You know, like, this is one reason why I haven't played Icewind Dale, because I heard it's, like, the opposite of this game. This game focuses heavily on, on text, um, uh, and, uh, um, uh, Oh, I remember this. Um, uh... Jeez! There we go. Um, uh... There's another plot charm. So I remember this plot line. Um, uh... Um, uh... So, yeah, it's a trap, um, but I can find my way out of it, and I still think that it's the right thing to help people. Um, uh... Ow! Let's see... Um, dirty rat charm. I feel like dirty rat charm sounds like an insult. Like, get out of my face, you dirty rat charm. Uh, let's see. Oh, Mornster Trees. We'll talk to them in a bit. Him. I think him. Um, uh. What? Here, let's check the map. Oh boy! I get to fight, because I didn't pay up one time, I get to fight every single freaking hide thug in Sigil. Also, why... All right. Is it only more? Take them out one at a time. Right. Then they can't hurt you. Uh, okay, bronze ring. I'm gone. Okay. Um, let's go to another place. The hive again. Um, ash mantle. We're trying to find Mebeth. Um, uh, one of my favorite characters, um, Crier of Essanen. Um, uh, I do think that Cutter is one of the, um, uh, I do think that Cutter is a, um, uh, sorry, I think that, I think that Cutter is, is slang from the um uh, yeah, I think it, I think cutter is is slang is the slang I was talking about earlier um uh, let's see uh, okay where is Mebeth? so the hive is actually like where you spend a big portion of your time um uh, I think this is... Damn it. All right. That is right, you better run. There we go. Um... Uh, okay. 
Where is he keeping them? All right. Like and subscribe if you got that reference. One ear. Oh, I hate that announcer. She makes you feel gross. Constantly. Okay. So I think we're going to do Mebus quest and then call it for today. Um... So this isn't where Mebeth is. I thought it was. I do remember this now. Um, coward. Coward. Oh, wow. They run? Oh, no. I was, I thought, for a second I thought they could run to another. Um, let's see. Um, uh, I don't know. Just, just go up here. Ragpicker Square. Oh, this is this is where she is. Um, uh, one of these guys has a name and a quest. Yellowfingers. That's it. Of course, every time I hear Yellowfinger, I can I immediately think of Littlefinger. Um, uh, Mebeth. Oh, one of my favorite characters. I don't know why. I just have fond memories of her. Shades of gray, only swatches of color in his socks and several strange herbs. Uh, uh, greetings. Uh, dawn. Um, interesting. So she's very, very gray. Um, uh, Um, uh, old Mebeth the the midwife. Updated my journal. Um, uh, yours. Um, uh, updated my journal. Okay, so she heals us. Um, I thought she would charge for that. Uh, I guess not, though. Uh, oh, well. So he's under the square. Updated my journal. Um... Uh, Okay, so missing a journal. I don't think she knows where that is. Um, um are you a witch, Mammoth? You just run through some random person's house who decides to heal you. You're like, are you a witch? Um, uh, um yeah, so. Um, uh, pa! Uh, I want you to make songs rather than make magic. I love her, like, kind of crotchety, you know, like, down to earth style, but she's also very wise. Um, um so, uh, um, uh, Updated my journal. Um, so she gives you a bunch of medial medial tasks that feel like they're very. Um, uh, I'm gone. Feel very video gamey and fetch quest, and, the, and there's kind of this cute little self referential thing. Um, but they also, but it also has a deeper meaning, which we'll probably get to before the end of this right. episode. Okay. Uh, to the market. Yeah, I don't want to. Random announcer guy. Is this the marketplace? Uh, well, it's the hive. 
I think it's the marketplace. Hey, there's an area I haven't explored. Um, uh, great darkness. Oh yeah, her name, her Profira is totally not a prophet. Um, uh, um. Uh, Okay. So I actually think I actually think he's important at another stage of this Mammoth quest. Um uh, Um uh, Um, uh, merchant. If they don't have a name. They're not important. And the weirder, the weirder the name, the more important they are. <laughs> Said the guy with an incredibly weird name in real life. Okay. Can't ever tell if they're a thug or a toot or a T.O. Yay! Rock sings true. I, I love it how, like, I feel like this would be more like if I killed their leader. Like, if I killed Kaisar. <laughs> if I killed Caesar in New Vegas. Um, even that I really need to play more than I have. Um, I was definitely the type of person who tried to jump straight into, uh, go straight to New Vegas, um, um, endure. In enduring I was definitely the type of person, um, uh, I, I, he, sorry, um, uh, he kind of, uh, oh yeah, um, I, I was definitely the type of person who tried to go straight to New Vegas after Good Springs. Um, that was, in retrospect, you know, that was a mistake. I was like, I want super easy mode, and I keep getting my ass handed to me by, like, death claws and, and those bugs. Ah, screw this game. Um, uh... Dangerous. Um... Man, I should count my blessings. <laughs> Requind makes me want to count my blessings. Um, Updated my journal. Um, uh, oof. Um, uh, updated my journal. Crossbaz with a crossed one. He had, had the looking of a pumpkin. His seeds curses. We're gonna then thrust his belly out as if to be a fat six pack of hair. He's good with his delivery. I'll give him that. Um, all a jumble with curses this one was. With a sneer and a careless gesture, Requin tosses an invisible curse at the stuffy persona. Uh, but... Um... Um... Uh, farewell. Bye! That's a very sad story, and I think you can make it better for him. That's part of a quest. Bye! Oh, boy. Did they just, like, teleport here? Where did these guys come from? If, they, if these guys can teleport, they're, they should be, like, doing some robberies or something. They should just be teleporting into bank vaults and... Filling sacks with 
filling sacks with money and then um, <laughs> filling sacks with money and and all that good stuff. Um, uh, let's see. You dirty rat charm! Whoever did that to poor Requind is a, is, has a dirty rat charm. Um, uh, I'm trying, I can't remember where the portal from the mortuary spawned. Um, why isn't that guy attacking me? Okay. Where's that person who I hear? I'm just gonna check the journal. Um, uh, the herbs that she needs, uh, black barb seed, uh, fruit merchant, in the market. Um, uh, oof. Um, uh, the upper wards. So we're not gonna get there for a while, unfortunately. Um, uh, here, let's see, uh, Tenement of Thugs, oh, that's, that's important later, um, uh, the Warehouse, Smoldering Corpse Bar, sorry, I should probably have been doing this more often, although I can't tell, ooh, the Alley of Lingering Size, that's a, that's an interesting one. Oh, the starved dogs are are part of the um, I guess part of that quest, that vengeance quest. Okay, hey, loop that I didn't get. Uh, fine, Decon. Okay, I kind of wish it just automatically. You know, there's so many like little. Um, quality of life things that I wish it would do, you know, I, I wish that you could, I wish that it would just automatically, um, uh, I wish that it would just automatically, you know, send it to, and if, if, if someone in your party had an inventory space open, I kind of wish it would just, it would just give them, give you all of them. Okay, is there a market here? No, this is where I started. <laughs> Went in a big old circle. Um, I've actually just seen someone, now that I think about it, again, I'm sorry if I already mentioned this, um, uh, but, um, uh, I actually watched a speedrun of this, um, uh, game in like 20 minutes, which was insane, and you know, it's, it's, it's possible, and it was, I don't think it was cool, it wasn't I don't know if it was glitchless, but it wasn't like we exploited a crazy bug that teleports you, you know, like it was, once you know what to do, it's pretty easy to, um, to, ugh, to deal with it. Um, uh, um, uh, of course, figuring out what to do is, um, a big part of this game. You know, it's kind of like you could speed through an adventure game, um, uh, but you would be kind of missing out on some of the fun. Endure. And endure. Your will be done. Uh, your will be done. That that sounds such a... I mean, again, I guess it makes sense considering what we find out later about Dekan. Um, but it, it feels very almost culty. You know, it's like... It's like what people say about about God, literally. It's like he's talking to, to me like I am. Well, in some ways, like... Kind of, well, no, the game dev is more like God. I don't know. Anyway, um, uh, let's see, uh, why do I keep, uh, yeah, nah, I don't want to, I don't want to sleep at it in. I'm gone. Uh, Mammoth let me sleep at her place for free. So wait, this is, I was, I was right. Oh, this is the fruit. <laughs> Crap. Oh, ah. Sorry. Um. Uh, 
Interesting. Updated my journal. Okay, gotta find a gardener. Um, uh, journal. I think Requind? For some reason, I wanna say it's him. Um, uh, no, okay. Gardener. The gardener's sign was standing by. The flowers he gave to me. I picked the blue and the guy I lit to. And the red, red rose a tree. And the red, red rose a tree. For some reason, that said, like, party member Soha. And I was like, who? What? Jeez. You you don't you don't pay you don't agree to get robbed one time and they'll haunt you till the end of your days. Right. Eh, haunt is a bit of a strong word. You're giving them too much credit. It's more like um more like they'll annoy you. Um I should probably sell some of this random stuff. Or equip it or something. Right. Um I like how it's coppers, you know, it doesn't really have much of an effect on the gameplay, but it's, um, uh, it's also pretty, um, it also kind of shows how, how impoverished, um, uh, this area is. Um, uh, what is this? Smoldering Corpse. Uh, it's a drunk. Uh, leave me alone! Idiots. Dumbasses. Okay, I just want to find a freaking gardener. Um, nope. Uh, not a gardener. Um, uh, well, she is a gardener. She's in no position to do some gardening right now. Because she is intoxicated. Um, uh, Mourns for trees. That's it. That's it. Um, I think. Hi. Um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, Just because everything dies doesn't mean you can't be sad about the things you like dying. Um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, oh, yeah, no, it... It does make sense in turn in in terms of um, uh, in terms of this the rules of this universe where belief like literally you can if you make someone believe they don't exist they will stop existing. Um, so uh, in this unit, I mean obviously in real life that should be bogus, um, uh, but. Um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, interesting morns. Um, uh, nice. Um, uh, Um, uh, 
Hey. Updated my journal. <laughs> okay, so um, I just was the I Jedi mind trick the seeds. I was like, you want to grow, and they were like, I want to grow. Um. Uh, Never mind. Uh, I do like that option, you know, because it's like, yeah, it's, again, it, it works if you, even if you decide to ask questions and die. Yeah, anyway, um, I keep doing that when I don't. I want to go to journal. Um, uh, find the herbs. Um, okay. Uh, oh yeah, Craddock. Should probably keep my eye out for him. When, where did he say it was? Um, oh, in the marketplace. Um, uh, I'm not there anymore, unfortunately, but next time I'm there, I should keep, I should keep an eye out. Okay, so... Uh, map to the alley. We up here, up here, up here, and just click on that, and then move down, move down, move down, move down, move down. Uh, I will say one person, one person said to me, like one, I've talked to one, I talked to one person, a friend in a in a well, someone in my friend's D and D group who was like, um, who was like, um, the. Who said that he didn't like this game because it was um, because it because its art style was, and I will say that it, I don't like the color palette. It feels too desaturated. I think the art design is, is amazing though. It's like it's um, I can see why he didn't like the look of this game. Um, uh, let's see. Updated my journal. Let's see. Uh, it's kind of interesting how you start off as one class. You start out as a fighter, and then you have to change to a thief or a mage. Um, you know, in any other CRPG, I would be complaining about about the limited class selection, and I still, I still kind of don't like it. But I'm also like, I also am like, yeah, does it? I don't care nearly as much. As they would in something like Pillars of Eternity. Um, uh, let's see. Um, uh, wait, so she... Uh, okay, so a frame. Interesting. Uh, um... Uh, <laughs> She's like, okay, I forgot to mention it last time, um, but, um, so yeah, so the cloth seller guy who was in the, so, so again, there's a bit of a tongue-in-cheek thing here, um, uh, I'm sorry, it's full, yeah, whatever, there's a tongue-in-cheek thing here of like, oh, oh yeah, you know, She's just an old woman who just keeps forgetting these things, and you know, like quests aren't quests sometimes boring. Why is what? Come on, what the crap? Uh, okay, that was weird. I got a not responding. Well, oh wow, it's been almost two hours. Uh, okay, well. I still want to finish it, so we're going to launch it. Hopefully it'll work, and hopefully it'll be the same. Um, hopefully it will be a a um, similar... Um, oh, I'm just going to... Here. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm just going to make sure it's doing everything all right. Okay. That was weird. Sorry about that. Um... Uh, Okay, so it's basically, it's ba it's basically where I last left. That was so weird. I didn't. I don't remember having any problem like that. 
in the last game. Interesting. Okay, so... Yeah, nope. Um... And... Hold on. Uh, is this the one with the markets? I think it is... Yeah, marketplace. Okay... Uh, that was a weird... Like, it... I just tried to move some from one place to another, and it was like, now! Um, uh, oof. Alright, back to Mebeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Uh, right. Let's see. Oh, I just thought of it of, of what's probably going to be the subtitle for this this episode, but I I don't want to say it right now because I want it. It'll be tied into something that happens at the end of the quest. Um. Uh, let's see. Oh, so he used too much magic or something? Um, uh, interesting. Uh, I, I imagine the nameless one is thinking. It's better not be going back to the market again. Um, uh, but, um, uh, my journal but but it's trying to be polite you know to this person who's te willing to teach me magic um, uh, let's see ink for Mebeth. okay I don't know why I like Mebeth so much she's just a memorable and kind of fun character but who also has like deeper kind of meaning um, uh, Let's see here. Uh, oh, the fish lady. Yeah, I talked to her. Um, uh, um, uh, So she's like Kosa Kosa Jai the third. Um Midwife in Picker Square. Swear Bevin is having me run in circles. Bleeds uh, Ink. Okay. Updated my journal. So, uh, a street just south of the market. Okay, this is kind of what uh, I do like. Uh, this is kind of like the the little. This is the antithesis of the little dotted line thing. Um, uh, that um, uh, who's attacking me? Okay. That um, you know, people like Mark Brown are always complaining about. I think justifiably. I don't personally hate it as much, or or dislike it as much as they seem to. But I do like having to actually like treat the game, treat the game world like an actual physical place. You know, um, one of my favorite parts about um, Assassin's Creed Origins was the um, uh, was the I, I know. Um, uh, one of my favorite parts about Assassin's Creed Origins. Oh, she's got she said just literally a palette swap. Um, was the papyrus scrolls that that you had to actually like look at the map and try and decipher their puzzle. Plus I just love those kind of Da Vinci Code riddle type things. Um, um uh, Updated my journal. Um, uh, 
Yay, Tanker! Um, uh, let's see. I don't know why I'm I'm worried about spoiling the the the. I mean, it's not really a twist. It's not a big deal, but um, the what I'm gonna call my subtitle because it's gonna be the subtitle because you clicked on this video, Steam viewer, and you probably saw. Um, you probably, you know, um, uh, saw, yeah, um, anyway. Um, click, you clicked on this video and you saw what it is. Um, anyway, though. Uh, merchant. Not the hive dweller. Um, uh, Um, uh, no, I don't want to buy Lim Lim. Um, uh, Hive Merchant. Um, uh, uh <laughs> updated my journal. She, she, it was used on someone's skull. Um, uh, All right. Kind of wish you didn't have the, um, uh, I kind of wish you could just say, I got a tankard, you know, rather than, I have some questions, and then, I have a tankard. I don't know. Again, li these are, these little nitpicks aren't, like, I don't actually, I mean, I care a tiny bit about them, but I don't care enough to, to make a big deal out of it, um, because they're nitpicks. Hello, Hi. my name is the Nameless One. <laughs> you want to kill me, prepare to die. And now we get a slapstick kind of chase routine. Um, uh, I mean, you could totally turn this into like, ah! you know, you could exaggerate this and make this a big, like, I don't know, screw, not, not Scrooge, the Three Stooges or Mar Mark's Brothers, I don't know, um, uh, thing. Oh, I think you can go in here. I can't remember how. And I remember something bad happening when he went in there, but I guess it's neither here nor there. Okay. Hey, old Mebeth. Um, um... Uh, Um, so yeah, so this is like, so this was, I have secretly been train, I have been training with Mebeth Miyagi, um, so, so yeah, she, she kind of, I actually haven't seen the original Karate Kid, and I'm, and I'm, I'm sure that it's insensitive, um, but, um, I do know the basics of, like, you know, meaning, meaning like, these tasks are, turn out to be, um, uh, the, these tasks turn out to be, these meaning, these, these mundane tasks turn out to be really important, um, uh, yeah, anyway. Um, uh, these are pretty good lessons. Um, the ritual is a wasted effort if the purpose of the ritual is ignored. That's what Jesus was saying about all the Sabbath rules and whatnot. Um, yeah, uh, it comes to a Mabeth for help. Um, uh, let's see, uh, yes, um, uh, um, uh, no, well, not to my knowledge, um, uh, Let's see. Uh, 
<laughs> I wanted an apprentice to do all my bit, my dirty work. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, looks like my folks got home. Um, uh, I'm sure you can hear my dog barking. Um, let's see. Ouch. Uh, so spell book. Um, um, okay, so the, um, the, the rags that he washed so much are good as paper, I guess. Um, uh, uh, um, Um, uh, okay, um, uh, oh. So I have to choose what to memorize before I go to sleep. Um, um, yeah. Um, uh, twice. Um, Okay. Updated my journal. Nice. So I don't tell you any longer. Um, uh... Bah, you flatterer. Oh, I love it. Your saga so lined with silver and shame of butters. Get ye hence. <laughs> Mammoth is Jesus confirmed, I guess. <laughs> um, uh, I love her, like, she clearly cares, but she also has, um, uh, here, so I guess we're going to go to inventory. Um... Uh, Oh, that's okay. That's stuff I want to put on the ground. Um, quick weapon. Uh, I'll put these in quick item. I should probably have been doing this anyway. Um, I still don't know why I would poison that person. Um, uh, so where do those scrolls end up? Wait, hold on. Um. Uh, What the? Um. Uh, oh, she dropped him. Cause it didn't have any room. That makes sense. Okay. One thing I want to do on this playthrough, I should probably look up how to do it. Is um. Uh, is um. Uh, is um. Um, unlock Nordum, who is a robot, a robotic character, like of the type of the type of like the. I don't understand these, you know, like like kind of like data that from what I've heard that I never actually interacted with on my first playthrough. So um, uh, I do want to unlock well, unlock them at some point. Um. Uh, Inventory. 
Copy spells on uh, and uh, yeah, so yeah, that should be a that's a good place to stop, I think. Um, uh, uh, save and then uh, uh, back with. Uh, quick game. So yeah, so that should be all for today, Steam viewers. Um, as always, thank you for watching. Um, if you liked the video, be sure to give it a like. If you have something to say, let me know in the comments. Um, if you want to be notified, if such when I do another one of these, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell. Um, it'll probably be like three years before part three comes out. <laughs> um... But but honestly, if you want to if you want me to do these more often, like I I kind of I find it much easier to do these videos, like do more of these videos of, of any of these games, and when people ask for them, because um, then I have a motivation um, to do so. Um, so yeah, if you want me to d upload more Planescape Torment content more frequently, let me know. Um, if you uh, links in the letterbox, uh, links I mentioned before, as well as in the description, as well as Twitter and Letterbox. That's, I think, why I said Letterbox. Um, uh, yeah. Um, uh, other than that... Uh, oh yeah, share the video with anyone you think would like it. All right, esteemed viewers, I have been Jekyll Stein Gray. Um, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Uh, maybe in a couple of years. Bye-bye! <laughs>